Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's impossible to overstate, to exaggerate the life-transforming power of the Lord's Prayer. It's a prayer that's reassuring enough to be on the lips of the dying, and yet dangerous enough to be banned in cinemas. It's famous enough to be spoken each day by billions in thousands of languages. And yet it's intimate enough to draw us ever closer into friendship with Jesus Christ. It's simple enough to be memorized by small children and yet profound enough to sustain a whole lifetime of prayer. When we pray this prayer, committed to Jesus Christ, there is no exaggerating, there's no imagining the new ways in which God can use us to his glory. As Christians, there's nothing more important than our relationship with Jesus Christ. When that flourishes, it overflows into the world around us, to our friends, to our family, to those we work with, to everyone we know. And when the church is full of the presence of Christ, we overflow and transform society in the most beautiful and wonderful way. That overflowing starts with our prayer lives, individually and together as we pray and meet with Christ in prayer. That's why this Pentecost, the Archbishop of York and I are asking churches right across England to pray for a renewal of their expectancy and the abundance and the overflowing of Christ in their lives together so that people right across the country see who Jesus is and are drawn to faith in him. There are three ways in which we are asking people to pray. First, that all Christians find new life in their relationship with Jesus Christ. The joy that Christ brings us, the comfort in sorrow, the abundance of joy at good times should be renewed in every Christian in their own personal faith and discipleship. So that's the first thing to pray for. The second thing to pray for is that all those you meet and you're close to your friends, family, colleagues, even those who you bump into and get into some conversation with, that they might see something of Jesus that draws them towards faith in him, towards learning what his love is for themselves so that their own lives are transformed. Thirdly, may we pray for the church that it is so full of the life and joy of Christ that it overflows with the reality of the presence of Jesus. Uh, together and wherever it reaches out to. That that overflowing is seen in service and love and compassion, working with the poor, serving each person they come across, wherever they are, in every community in England. We're calling this week of prayer, Thy Kingdom Come. And it will run from the 8th to the 15th of May this year. You'll recognize the words come from the Lord's Prayer, where we pray for the reign and rule of Christ in every heart and every community, that they may find the joy of Jesus Christ.